Online.com. Um, I've said this to all the guys, you've got 30-something practices under your belt since your last play in a football game. Is it a sense of excitement now that you know you get to go out and face somebody else for once? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely a huge excitement to be able to, you know, go against another team and, and another uh, – Another team of color, I guess, of, you know, not just orange and purple every day. So I'm uh, super excited for that. Um, I think our, our defense has done an incredible job of preparing our offense since January, you know, in, in spring practice and fall camp and obviously leading up to the first game. And um, just, you know, I think a great defense makes a makes a great offense and vice versa. So uh, it's been it's been really it's been really exciting. <laughs> Is it fun? to take this first game and, and, you know, hey, we're actually going out on the road. We get to stay in a hotel, be together as a team. Do you think that's a, a good thing? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, I think it's fun to just kind of get the season rolling on the road. And, um, you know, I don't I don't see it too too different, I guess, uh, than being at home in a preparation type of, type of way. But uh, it's definitely fun to kind of hit the road early. And um, I guess it kind of creates a just a real-life atmosphere whenever you kind of hit the road. So... Yeah, I don't know. Hey, hey, does starting, preparing for this start feel different than preparing for Tennessee did? Obviously different opponent, so please don't. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. That's, that's an interesting. I, f I feel like I just try to prepare every week kind of the same. Um, obviously, some weeks, you know, you prepare a little bit more. but. Um, Do you feel that difference, though, of the last? Is that like a tangible feeling, the, the work and the preparation and the hours? Does it feel different with all that time now that you've been preparing with that, especially as a starter? I know you're going to tell us that you always prepare with the starter mentality, but it's real. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, it's just a confidence and kind of just a, a piece about it, um, just knowing that we can just go play. You know, we're not, we're not trying to prove anything. We're not trying to do anything. We're just going to go play ball. Um, I think there's definitely a peace and, and a joy about that for sure. And, um, you know, Coach Sweeney tells us all the time, confidence comes from preparation, and we've, we've been preparing for a while now. Um, so, we, you know, we're, we're ready to, to kind of go show it. So. This offense has proved a lot sort of to itself, sort of within itself during practices. What do you think are the biggest things this offense has to sort of go out and prove? under the lights against a different defense? Yeah. Um, I, I don't really feel like, you know, I don't know what we would necessarily need to prove um, because I think if we need to prove something, then that means somebody's, you know, talking bad about us or something. But, um, I mean, I just think we need to just go play our ball and just do what we do. We don't need to be anything special. Uh, you know, we just need to just do what we do and do what we've been doing since, you know, in the last in the last eight months, and um, just go have fun and just play free, uh, just enjoy it. And you know, every day every day we go out there to practice, um, we're treating it like a game. Uh, we really do. We uh, high intensity, high reps. Um, just uh, you know, we we try to practice. We try to practice like there's you know ninety thousand people watching us, so that whenever we go into the games, it's it just it feels freeing. It feels like a normal a normal rep. It's what we've been doing all year. Um, so. You know, when when we go into those real life environments um, and those in those real games coming up, it's 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 just it's regular. You know, it's it's what we've been doing. It's just it's regular reps. We don't need to create anything new um, or start drawing up random stuff. You know, we just we do what we do. Kate, what's your biggest concern about this offense going into Um, I I don't really have any concerns. I feel I feel great. Um. I feel I feel great about about where we're at. I mean, I'm I'm so excited. Um, I'm so excited for this team. It just they've been they've been working uh, every single position and every single position group. Um, they've been working. I think just just <coughs> quietly working, keeping our head down, and just kind of getting after it. So I'm I'm excited for for a lot of guys that that not a lot of people know about yet are just gonna have a great year, and um, we'll be able to kind of kind of show it out week one. So how much have you watched Texas A&M's defense? versus what Duke did last year. And then when you look at what their, their new defensive coordinator does, a lot of pre-snap reads, you have to make a lot of motion. You know, do you kind of see that when you watch them? Yeah, I mean, I think Coach Riley's done a great job of kind of preparing us so far um, over the last week of just, you know, 
getting ready for Duke, obviously, and uh, their new DC. But you know, their their OC or sorry, their head coach and their DC have had a, a history of kind of being with each other. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of similarities in that aspect. So, um, but Coach Riley's done a great job of just you know preparing us on what we need to watch, uh, what to watch, how to watch it, um, and it's just it's been great. I mean, just the, I've, been, I've been loving the game plan so far, and um, it's been it's been good. It's been good. I've, I've been enjoying it. Davos openly mentioned and talked in all these interviews and everything he's done, national championship. That, that's where we're going. We've seen the videos on social of your team meetings and that sort of stuff. I think a lot of people would say, gosh, is that a lot of pressure to have that named? I imagine that's great confidence that your coach is looking at you and saying, knowing what he knows and the experience he has, you guys can go and do this. How do you take that message and how is the team kind of living and breathing and, and, and you know, targeting that goal? Yeah, I mean, that, that's our main goal um, at the end of the year. Uh, obviously, we have, we have real goals, but, I mean, you know, that, that's what we want at the end of the year. That's, you know, that's what, that's what we want, whether we say it or not. Um, but to be honest with you, like, we're never going to get there if we don't win week one. Um, so right now we're just focused on, on our first opponent, um, and we're focused on that, and that's really it. And um, if we just focus one week at a time, I think that, you know, in the end, that'll just take care of itself. What's time like for you right now? You've obviously got school started, um, but do you have any moments of your day that you try and take away from football, or is it school got football <laughs> just as much as humanly possible? Or is there, is there something you do to, to get away for a little bit of space between your ears? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, while I'm here, um, I try to be here uh, and at the facility. I mean, you know, I'm 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 fully locked into every moment that I'm here, and um, I'm not thinking about outside of this facility. I'm not really trying to think about school or friends or whatever. I'm I'm while I'm here, I'm here, and I might be here late, you know. But you know, once I kind of go home, uh, in a way, like my actual house, I try to just kind of, you know separate myself and just kind of like distinguish the two and just kind of take a take a few hours well not even maybe a few hours but uh just a little bit of time to just kind of separate myself but you know I'm, I'm still ultimately always kind of thinking about that kind of stuff even just walking to class I was thinking about you know different reads and defenses this week and um you know it's whenever you kind of love the game it's just kind of all you think about in a way so um I don't know. Like assessing your classmates walking at you. Like <laughs> no, but I don't know. I mean, I think it's it's tough. I mean, I I think I do a good job of kind of separating both, but I've got a great community that kind of helps me stay in line. So, um, yeah. Is that like video games? Is it a TV show? Uh, not not as much video games and stuff like that, but maybe just kind of, you know, just talking about stuff other than football, talking about life and um, and people and friends and. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge like video game or anything like that. So, um, yeah. How how similar is this team in terms of you know half field reads, being able to eliminate things pre snap? Like how much are you able to kind of do some of those same things here that you're doing at West Ham? Yeah, definitely super similar. Uh, just kind of you know in a verbiage wise for sure, but um, just schematically and. Um, I mean, there's definitely a lot of similarities. Just, I mean, I can't even like really pick it out, but it's just kind of something you just kind of feel and know that it's just it's kind of similar. It's, it's not completely opposite, you know what I mean? Um, we're not huddling up, giving a 40-word play call every single time like like some other schools. So um, I would say in that kind of aspect, it's similar. So. Is it fun for you to watch film from like the you were saying they have they've done a great job of getting you prepared, but do you like being able to break it down and go, yeah, look, when they move the linebacker outside the hash here, here's what the safety like. Do you like that part of it? Yeah, I love it. Um, you know, I think that that's one thing that it's it's kind of like a puzzle, you know, and figuring out different things. And um, but it's you know you gotta love it. Uh, if you don't, then I don't think you're gonna go very far at, at the position of quarterback. So you gotta love it. You gotta love every single part of it um, in the game, but also just throwing on your own, getting extra reps and stuff like that. So I do love it. I think it's it's fun and I enjoy it a lot um, because I know that like 
in the end, it's it's going to pay off. You know, it's going to actually prepare me for the game. I'm not just going through the motions, which you can get in a habit of, of just kind of turn on the turn on the clips and just kind of rolling through them. But um, whenever you're actually do like you actually dive in and pay attention to what you're looking for and actually have stuff to look for, um, then you get to game day and you you start seeing just you know, a false step of a safety and stuff like that. And it's just like, okay, I know this coverage coming, I know the bliss is coming. Just like stuff like that, you just start to pick up and it's just, you know, it's fun and um, you just kind of figure things out along the way. So, and definitely I feel like I'm I'm much more prepared watching film and have a much greater um, plan of watching film and what I do day to day uh, this year than I did last year, just because, you know, I, in high school I mostly watched with my coach, but you know, a lot of it is watching on your own here. Um, not that we don't watch with our coaches, obviously we do, but you know, there's only so much time we get with them. So a lot of it is kind of watching stuff on our own, and that's been really good. So. How long did it take you to feel like Coach Riley was going to be a big help in that regard, being able to, to sit down and point out things to you that maybe you'd never heard or seen before? Yeah, I mean, as soon as we started watching, you know, our first game opponent, uh, we just kind of figured out right off the bat, you know, you know, he's, he knows he knows ball super well, um, and we've known that for a while. But uh, it was fun to, you know, obviously all year long we're kind of installing, learning more about our offense. Um, and then you finally get to an opponent, and you really start learning how do we actually use this offense to go against a defense, and how do we game plan for them, how do we, um, you know, use what we have and kind of pick from our menu um, of plays to work against what they're going to do. Um, and that's what I like about our offense is, you know, Really, everything we have, we can run against whatever. Um, so I, I really like that a ton, and um, it's been great. It's been great. What would a sort of ideal first outing to this offense look like for you? Like, what would make you look back and say that was a really good first game besides winning? Yeah, I think uh, just getting getting the ball to as many people as we can. Um, you know, getting getting the ball to every receiver we can. Um, but then just having honestly a, a great, a great day running the football, great day, great day passing the football, um, and then just a great day up front with the offensive line. And um, but I think just getting the ball around, um, and then getting the ball to our, our running backs because I mean they're great and we got great receivers and um, just spreading the ball around I think is going to be is going to be good for us. So. Any questions for Kate from Zoom? Yeah, Kate, this is a yeah Billy from the AP. Um, is there any part of you that's kind of nervous heading into this one? Because now it's all on you. The attention, the fan, the fans, the back and forth, that kind of thing. Any part of you get a little nervous about all this? No, I'm excited. Um, I think that's one thing that I've kind of been blessed with. I don't, I don't really get too nervous um, because I get to go play. Uh, I get, I'm excited for that. I get to go play, and I'm excited to go play. Uh, it's it's a game that I love, and I just I'm excited to go play. Like I I just don't see any reason to be nervous. I'm I'm excited to go play the game that I love, and um, you know I feel like I've I've put the work in to to kind of get to this first game, and um, I'm just excited. You know I'm excited to go kind of show out and and show what this team has been working towards. Got time for one more? Anybody in the room? Okay, how much have you tapped into the talent because Taj played in the bowl game into his freshman year, then started his sophomore year with an offensive coordinator change. Have you, have you talked to him about that scenario that he went through at that time, or has he come to you and talked to you about that? Uh, yeah, I use, I use Taj as a huge resource. Um, Taj is probably one of the best people I know of, of building somebody's confidence up um, and just encouraging somebody. I've never seen him um, discourage somebody. Uh, just the way that he just is a light in the room, in the QB room, um, it's, you know, it's, it's huge for us uh, because I think that, you know, he's, he's been through everything that we could possibly go through. Um, so just to kind of have him in my corner and in the, in the QB room's corner is, is huge and just kind of somebody that we can reach out to um, on the field but also off the field stuff is, is, is awesome. And I'm, I'm so appreciative of him and um, – just kind of the mentor that he is to me. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Kate. Go to you.